Dear friends, I truly regret that long-standing commitments do not allow me to be with you for today's presentation of the final report of the Regional Migration Study Group. Notwithstanding my inability to be with you in person at this significant event, I want, if only through this means, to express my deep satisfaction for the work done. The report is of enormous relevance, not only for its sound content, but, and I want to stress this, also for its timing. When the study group first met in February of 2011, little did we know that towards the end of our work horizon, circumstances would change drastically for the better, making the possibility of a significant immigration reform in the United States more likely than it has been in many years. Given the robustness of the analysis and policy recommendations contained in the report, its publication now, right at the start of what promises to be a hopeful period of debate and decision on this important subject, conveys significant value. I am confident the participants in that debate will appreciate that our study has done much to map adequately the profound economic, demographic, and societal forces that are reshaping our increasingly interconnected region comprised of the United States, Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. The study has also taken great strides toward developing and articulating an innovative and collaborative approach to migration and human capital development that, if implemented, can help build a stronger social and economic foundation for our region. Our deliberations at meetings in Washington, Mexico, and Central America, along with the research undertaken in nearly 20 background reports, were ultimately intended to produce recommendations based on a sufficient understanding of on-the-ground political, economic, and social realities in this incredibly diverse part of the world. Aiming to balance policy ambition with realism and intellectual humility, we have tried to give practical answers to the fundamental questions of how can our nations collaborate to ensure safe, legal, and orderly migration flows, and how can they each work towards sustained, inclusive economic growth supported by people with the skills and qualifications demanded by the labor market. The study group's final report, above all, seeks to promote policies that will benefit each of the countries examined as well as the region collectively, but not to advantage any country over the other. For the overall region, one thing is clear. Getting migration policy right is vital to long-term stability, prosperity, and competitiveness in a fast-changing global economy. I am hopeful that the document submitted today for your consideration will earn a place as an important reference in the ongoing debate that it will help governments of the region to execute sound policies on migration, labor markets, and human capital for the sake of their own national development interests. I express my deep gratitude to all of my fellow commissioners for their committed guidance, in particular to my esteemed co-chairs and friends, Secretary Carlos Gutierrez and Vice President Eduardo Stein. Of course, I want to recognize the great work done by the dedicated group of experts and support staff from the Migration Policy Institute and the invaluable intellectual leadership provided all along by Andrew Cicelli, Doris Meissner, and Demetri Papademetriou. Let us now work hard to give our report the extensive dissemination it deserves and make it an influential tool to advance the cause of good migration policies for growth and development in our countries.
Thank you very much.